When chaos struck London this week in the form of a deadly terror attack, news outlets scrambled to get on the air with the most up-to-date information. But depending on who you watched, you could be confused about how many people died. The attack happened on Westminster Bridge, where police say a man driving a car plowed into pedestrians and crashed outside the gates of Parliament. In the end, five were dead, four victims, and the alleged attacker himself. During the coverage, some news outlets took a different approach to reporting the death toll on their banners, and at least one left the attacker out. In our lightning round, here's the question, should the attacker count when reporting death tolls? All right, here's the problem. If you're just using a banner over all of your reporting and all your information, and you decide that the, the, the attacker doesn't count, and you say three dead, that's inaccurate, right. because more people are dead. Mm -hmm. Of course you have to put it in context. I mean, I, I'd say most radio stations did exactly what needed to be done, which was put it in context that three people were killed or four people were killed, and, and then five including the shooter. Mm -hmm. But if it's just a banner, I was at a little thing with a, not a little thing, with Symphony Hall, and Ted Koppel was the speaker. He asked the crowd how many people were killed, and <laughs> people were shouting out, three, five, four. They were totally confused right. because it, it hadn't been clear that afternoon. Mm -hmm. I like going with, and this has been debated in newsrooms for, for you know, years, uh, I like going with the full number and then saying including yeah. the, the shooter. Uh, it does get confusing because one, you know, one organization will say five, yeah. another one will use four, and I don't think people, the nuance is lost on people. They see numbers and they think those numbers, yeah. you know, uh, it's another person. So I, that, that, that's the way I would handle it, give the full number and say including the, the shooter. I don't have any problem with saying four dead in London following an attack, et cetera, et cetera. But if you say four dead in attack, that makes the perpetrator of the attack into one of the victims. And I've got to say on a gut level, I have a real problem with that. Uh, I would rather um, not have them get to inflate their death toll that they were hoping to inflict and people who sympathize with them be able to cite one extra number. If you say in the attack, I think you stick with the people who are victims. Hmm. I mean... Do we really have such a need to boil this down to three or four words? It doesn't strike me that it's that difficult to say five dead, including the attacker. I know, but see, and the, then it's accurate. But the, the cable networks had banners going with different numbers on it. Yes. It made it look like somebody had it right and somebody had it wrong, but, it, but CNN intentionally left the attacker off of it which was confusing. Well, that is confusing, and it's not difficult to say five dead, I know, but if you've got a attacker. banner that's well, completely wrong. Well, kills three in London. I mean, yeah. I, I I would, know. my banner would say... That's, you should have said that. But then you have to point out that that <laughs> person also got killed, yeah. right? So I would, my confusing. banner would say dead, four victims, one attacker. There you go. Now we're done. There you go. <laughs> they didn't do that. Okay, but I'm just saying. <laughs> All that's right.